the clone stamp tool in this tutorial we will talk about the clone stamp tool this is a very powerful very useful very trendy tool whenever you need to remove something which you do not like from your background from your image this is the way to go so let's go ahead and understand this tool better the clone stamp tool paints one part of an image over another part of the same image or any open document and its hotkey is S. So when you press S on the keyboard, this tool gets activated. So clone stamp tool is useful for duplicating or removing a defect in an image. Just imagine you've been to an amazing location, you have an amazing image of yours, but there's this garbage or something which you do not like in the picture. You can easily paint it over with the background. So for instance, that garbage is on that floor. You can take a sample from that floor and paste it on your garbage and it will appear as if it was never there. So you can set a sampling point on the area you want to copy by basically alt and click. So you sample an area and where you want to paste it, you go there and start painting over. So in your image, if you had a dustbin, so you go on the better area in your image, say for instance the nearby area which is maybe your ground. You select your ground by clicking Alt and clicking together and then you go and paint over your garbage and it's done. You have a perfect image. So let's go into Photoshop and do this yourself. Hi, in this tutorial we will discuss the clone stamp tool. The clone stamp tool is an amazing tool if looking to paint over an image, actually removing any disturbances, anything that's not nice to your eyes, you can remove that area and pan paint it over with a sourced area. So it's pretty simple, you just go here and its shortcut is S. So I can select the clone stamp tool to remove any imperfection, anything that I don't like in my image. For that, I first need to source an area. So I somehow, let me just show you using the lasso tool. I somehow do not like this hair, which is not much, but I being a perfectionist, I just don't like it and I want that to get removed. So I'm going to just do control D and we're going to look at removing at this. So let me just go and hit S and I have my clone stamp tool. So first, always remember, dealing with the clone stamp tool, you need to have a sourced area. So I'm going to press Alt and I'm going to source this area. So you can see my cursor changed and it's actually copying this area to paint over some other, some another image. So just remember, I am pressing on Alt and painting to an area which I will use to paint it over. So again, I press Alt and I'm sampling this area. I release the Alt and I come back to this area where I wish to paint. Now I have a crossover and I'm going to paint it over. Perfect. So I no more have that area. So let me take some more darkness into it and perfect. I have that area removed. I do not have that little dirt on my area. So you could also change the opacity and flow from hair and the hardness of the brush. You can change how big you want your brush, how hard you want a brush and you can do that and you can paint over the clone stamp tool so it's super cool and super easy to use the clone stamp tool